In recent years, the reputation surrounding the fedora hat has taken a dive due to it becoming associated with internet neckbeards, white knights, and nerdy tryhards. Paul, check this out. <laughs> and because of the stigma that's been attached to it in recent years, people are generally more cautious about wearing fedoras. This stigma relating to the tips fedora meme. And there's a certain image that's been floating around that essentially serves as the cornerstone for the tips fedora meme that exists online. And this image is known commonly as Fedora Guy. This image of a smug looking young man donning a neck beard and fedora hat has long been a meme used to lampoon tryhards on internet forums. It essentially serves as satire that pokes fun of these guys on forums that talk all of this big game acting like they're just the ultimate gentleman when it comes to ladies, but in actuality they're probably some guy in his early 30s chilling in his mom's basement. While this image of Fedora Guy isn't the only example of a tips fedora meme as there are multiple variants, it is by far the most widely and recognized example of it. So I got curious and wanted to know how this guy's picture ended up becoming this big meme online, the backstory behind its spread, who is the actual guy in the picture, and how did his likeness becoming a meme affect his real life? Before starting, I'd like to thank The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. They make these sleek metallic wallets. This one I have is the aluminum version. On The Ridge website, you'll find that their wallets come in various different types of metals and materials from titanium to carbon fiber. And I've used both the aluminum and the titanium. They're both excellent choices. And Ridge has more than just wallets. They also have phone cases, book bags, power banks, charging cables, and even pocket knives. So check those out as well. I've got a 10% off link in the description box that includes free worldwide shipping. That's www.ridge.com slash surf and use code surf to save that 10% off. Anyways, let's get on to the video. So before I begin talking about the fedora guy himself, I need to explain how Tips Fedora became a meme in the first place because I think it's essential to understand that in order to give context to the fedora guy picture. Well, as with the origin of many memes that we find online, the genesis of Tips Fedora can be traced back to none other than the folks over on 4chan. The phrase Tips Fedora was first used in a thread on 4chan's V board in mid-2012 and it quickly began to spread and become popular on several of the other boards. And it was generally stuff like this. I want to borrow your pen, Tips Fedora. Milady, I'd be honored to help you with your homework. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. The meme evolved for some time on 4chan and eventually it spilled over to Tumblr. And I think this particular example I'm about to show you is a perfect showcase of what the whole Tips Fedora phenomena is all about. The backstory of this post is supposedly this Tumblr user buys his crush a pack of donuts in an effort to win her over and this is the result. I tried this on a female before. She took the bottom middle donut that says girl and handed the box back to me, leaving me with five donuts that read, will you be my friend? Tips Fedora in shame, friend zoned again by another succubus. <laughs> The phrase Tips Fedora then found its way onto Reddit and this is where we begin to see the meme transform from its text-based origins to more of an image macro template. In mid to late 2013, you began to see more and more image-based incarnation of Tips Fedora memes, which displayed oftentimes undesirable men wearing fedoras, accompanied with melodramatic hot takes on women or these we live in a society-esque testimonies. I'm sorry that I'm always the one you need to talk to, but never good enough to date. I'm sorry that I thought sex can wait till after marriage, then you went out and got pregnant. I'm sorry that I always held your hair back when you threw up and didn't get mad at you for puking in my car, but when we went out, you went home with another guy. I'm sorry for not being sorry anymore. I'm sorry that you can't accept me for who I am. As an atheist, why should I tolerate all the many different religious views that people subscribe to? I have decided that I will tolerate it no longer, and any religious person I ever meet I will instantly regard as of lesser intelligence and delusional and treat them as such. And this is just a small selection of Tips Fedora memes you can find online. There's thousands upon thousands of them. So in late 2013, when we had the proliferation of these Tips Fedora memes appearing on Reddit, this is when the actual Fedora guy himself comes into the fold. 
On October 31st, the first image of the Fedora guy was shared to Reddit and was associated with the Tips Fedora meme for the first time when it was posted to this r circle jerk thread by Redditor I have two broken arms AMA. The title of the post was the more you hit the upvote button, the more euphoria you receive. And the thread essentially just features the photo of the Fedora guy. This entire r circle jerk post is actually a meta joke poking fun at a rather infamous thread that was submitted over on our atheism by redditor Alois. And in this thread, he details this cringe-inducing embellishment of his status as an atheist. Just to be clear, I'm not a professional quote maker. I'm just an atheist teenager who greatly values his intelligence and scientific fact over any silly fiction book written 3,500 years ago. This being said, I am open to any and all criticism. In this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of any phony God's blessing, but because I am enlightened by my intelligence. Yeesh. This infamous post by Alois would become an inside joke amongst Redditors. I tip my feather up to you, and in this moment, I'm euphoric. <laughs> And the legendary Fedora guy's picture was made a meme within one of the many threads that mocked the R atheism user. After its initial use in the R circle jerk thread, the Fedora guy began to spread rapidly across the internet and essentially became the poster child for the entire Tips Fedora joke and would be closely associated with internet neckbeards in general. There have been numerous renditions and remixes of it throughout the years and it's actually still a somewhat relevant meme today. But I think at this point you get the picture, you understand the spread of how the actual Fedora Guy picture became a meme. I want to start talking about the man behind the Fedora Guy, the actual human being. Who is he and how did this thing get online in the first place? Well, in early 2014, Redditors were asking the same questions. A thread was created in February of 2014 entitled, Who is the famous Fedora Tipping Neckbeard? What are his origins? And within this thread, someone came up with the idea to reverse image search the Fedora Guy photo, and it turns out that the image was associated with an IMDB page created for an actor named Jerry Messing. The page says he was from Los Angeles, California, and was born on April 3rd of 1986, which would make him 27 years old at that time in 2014. This IMDB page lists Jerry Messing's acting credits from as early as 1997 and stops around 2003. And oddly enough, this list includes some pretty remarkable acting credits. Notable credits included playing Pugsley Adams in the 1998 Adams Family reunion movie and playing a character named Gordon Crisp in the TV series Freaks and Geeks, which actually has a pretty good review online. Here he is in the Adams Family movie. How's our patient doing? Not too well. I might have to operate. Well, okay. But uh, you remember our little lesson from last time, don't you? If the patient refuses to stop screaming, offer him some anesthetic. Good boy, Pugsley. I'm sure you'll be at the top of your class when you reach medical school. And here he is in Freaks and Geeks. I don't like sci-fi. I love, love, love it. Should your mom drive or should mine? Hey, me, my mom should drive because she puts all my makeup on in the parking lot before I go in. Great. So from what the Redditors were able to dig up, it looked like the Fedora guy was a childhood actor whose name was Jerry Messing. And to add even more evidence that this picture of the Fedora guy was really Jerry, Jerry Messing's Facebook page was promptly dug up and lo and behold, the infamous Fedora guy picture was on Jerry Messing's Facebook page with a post date of May 1st, 2011. So without a shadow of a doubt, this is the real guy. So the internet knew the real identity of Fedora guy, but there were still some unanswered questions. Questions like was Jerry Messing aware that his likeness had become a meme and had he acknowledged it? And also what was the actual story behind this photo being taken? Well on May 8th of 2014, Jerry Messing would take to Facebook and for the first time acknowledge the meme. So I've been made aware of a meme that I seem to have become a part of due to my picture. Something that seems to have to do with the recent influx of friend requests. I've been unsure how to or even if I should respond to this possibility, but I now find it too humorous to not say something. First, I want to thank those who have been respectful as to how I might feel towards this. 
And second, I would like to say how funny it is for a photo I had taken for the fun of it would generate this much, well, I'm not sure what to call it, infamy? As to why a for fun shot appears to have been done professionally, that's simple. When I got my last set of headshots done, there was still some film to use up, and the result was this. On a final note, to those who have come because of this meme, in remaining respectful, I ask you to also respect the photographer who took it. He does excellent work, and the only reason this picture is up is because it is not an official one. So yeah, Jerry Messing was certainly aware that he had become a living meme. However, after this acknowledgement, Jerry Messing would remain rather silent on the whole situation even as the friend request to his Facebook page would continue to increase as more and more people learned that he was the actual fedora guy. And I can certainly understand why somebody would want to distance themselves from a meme based off of their likeness. Especially in this circumstance when more often than not, the fedora guy image was used to mock and make fun of people online. And not only that, who really wants to be known as the poster child for internet neckbeard culture? I know I wouldn't want to be. Bruh. As the summer of 2014 rolls around, the Fedora Guy meme begins to reach its peak popularity and it had been shared across pretty much every fathomable corner of the internet. And people still had questions for Jerry. He did acknowledge that the photo was taken at some sort of headshot photo shoot, but people wanted to know why he was doing that particular pose in the photo shoot. But in the summer months, Jerry was elusive and didn't answer many questions about the Fedora Guy meme on his Facebook page. But for whatever reason, in August, he finally decided to break his silence and further explain the backstory behind the photo. And it turns out at the end of his headshot photo session, he wanted to pay homage to one of his favorite movies. After some deliberation, I've decided I will finally start answering some questions. If you have something you really want to ask me, it is respectful, and I feel I can properly answer it at this time, please post it as a comment and I will respond to it. However, just to knock one off the asking roster, I will say why I took the now infamous photo. I've loved the Blues Brothers movie since I saw it. I also fell in love with the style that Dan Akirod and John Belushi portrayed in the film. Certainly part of the charm of the film. And while I knew it was a style I could never do justice to, I wanted to try at least once. When I'm down more weight, I still plan to try and pull off a hopefully semi-decent homage to the late Belushi on some Halloween night complete with karaoke rendition of Soul Man. I can already envision the cringing, but there you have it. So it turns out the fedora tip engaged upon by Jerry Messing in the infamous fedora guy photo was just him paying homage to the Blues Brothers. And that's really the story. As with many of the cases I talk about on this channel, this is another example of someone uploading a piece of content that's rather unremarkable, it gets hijacked by the internet and gets transformed into a meme. Fortunately for Jerry's case, him being transformed into this living meme actually had a pretty negligible effect on his life and he didn't suffer much of a negative consequence from this at all. And going through his Facebook posts, it seems like he almost wears the Fedora Guy meme as a badge of honor. And as for what he's doing recently, it looks like he's trying to start up a podcast. So if you want to get updates on that, make sure you check out his Facebook page. And if that thing ever comes out, I guess tune in and leave a comment. But that, my friends, is the story of how Jerry Messing, aka the Fedora Guy, got looped into the Tips Fedora movement and became a meme. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.